And what have I done? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Alice LPS. Hey everyone, and today we're gonna be reviewing Indigo Otterson. This is one of the newer pets that I found in my recent toy hunt video, and I just thought he was super cute, so I had to pick him up. Let's take a quick look at the box first. She's from the Pets in the City line. Her name is Indigo Otterson, and there's a little sun here. I don't know what that means. Her number is 177, and she is a sweetheart pet. In the bottom right, it says Hasbro. In the top left, it has the Lilith's Pet Shop logo, and over here, it says about the LPS app. On the back, there's a bunch of warning signs at the top, so let's have a look here. And at the bottom, there is a list of all the adorable pets in this line. There's an adorable purple dog with a frisbee and a ball. Next is a white and purple bull terrier with a heart mark. This orange and brown cat, which comes with some purple shades and has a sun mark. This grey pattern dog, which also comes with purple glasses and has a star mark. And this adorable pink sparkly cat with a bow mark. I'm not really sure what these marks mean, are they something to do with the app? Let me know in the comments below, but I do think these pets in this line are so cute. I would really love to get this sparkly cat or this um, bull terrier, they're really cute. Can't forget that sad onion. Okay, what have I done? I hate it when this happens, you can't get them off. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I don't want to hurt it. Okay, maybe from here. Oh. Oh, I guess we're not allowed to take her out. Let's just kind of like stab it. Yay! And we can tear it. Okay. Woo! Yay! Okay, okay, here we go. Ba -ba -ba -ba. So here is everything included. She comes with this little hat accessory, the LPS herself, and this little pamphlet. So let's take a look at this quickly first. They really compact this. I wonder what's on it. Da -da -da. Oh god, it's really screwed up. Okay, okay. This is the Pets in the City checklist. Really happy that they have included a checklist because on the My Little Pony toys, they've completely stopped adding checklists to them. So is pretty cool anyway but now we can kind of see clearly why they're separated into their different categories because that's how they are they're done they're not like the old pets where they're sorted by number they're sorted by their little categories so let's take a look here are all the pets in the sports category I do like this little camel here and this little kitty cat but I don't like how some of them are smaller than others like this giraffe right here shouldn't be like smaller than than a bunny rabbit you know what I mean it's just not not accurate. This is the bow category, so I'm guessing these are the fancy pets. Um, I think this is the pink sparkly cat from this line, she's really cute. And on the back we have some more. This is the beach buddies, there is our indigo Otterson right there. I think she's a special one because she has a heart around her, so is she the chaser? Because she is the only sweetheart pet in this line, which is really cool, yay! We have caring cuties, they're pretty cute. And lastly we have the performing pets. So without further ado, let's take a look at our otter friend right here. She comes with this little hat. It has little sewing marks along the rim here and then a little paw print. And you can just stick it in with the peg here, right in the little hole there. So let's put it on. There we go. To be honest, I'm not a fan of the decor bit accessories, but um, it might look cuter on a cat or something where the ears are more on the top of the head, whereas it just looks a bit funny here on an otter. I think it suits my mascot better. What do you think? <laughs> You could even hang it off her ear. Ooh, snazzy. Let's take a look at Indigo, what you're all waiting for. She is this really pretty lilac kind of, like a lilac indigo color, like it's a mix. It's not purple, but it's not blue, but it's like quite pastel. She's really cute. Her head has this kind of eraser feel to it. It's not as rubbery as the old ones felt like, but it still has that kind of slightly squishy feeling. Like she has pretty blue eyes and these really cute dainty eyelashes and she has this light purple mark on her muzzle here and a dark purple nose. She's really cute. The markings are super cute and she has this cute little heart shaped mark here and on the top of her head, bam, she has this sparkly bit. I'm not sure why but I think it's really cute and I got kind of excited in the store when I saw her with it. I was like, wow, she's got shiny on her. She has her zap code for the app so if you wanted to use that, go ahead. 
Her bottom half is made of a different plastic, but it's not horrible whatsoever. She has her little code here on the bottom, I'm not sure what that's about. Um, but she has this little fluffy bit here, which is really cute. It kind of reminds me of an Eevee, you know what I mean? These pets' heads are not removable, which is really nice. I didn't like that on the, um, on the other newer pets I'd reviewed. The heads came off and it was really annoying, because I could imagine children playing with them and they'll be like blah 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 blah, and the head will like pop off. That would not be cool. But I do really love her pose and the little detail on her paws, they're just really cute. She just looks like she's chilling there, having a nice time. So that's it for my review on Indigo Odyssey. Let me know in the comments below what you think of her. Do you like these kind of newer pets? Like, they're kind of going back with the oldish style, but still keeping it new, if that makes sense. And don't forget to subscribe and like, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!